The tech tip is on how to create a pass-fail macro. Such a macro is designed to perform an analysis, compare the result with a predefined value and post a pass-fail message depending upon the result of the comparison. We will create as an example a macro that is calculating the indium melting enthalpy, comparing it to its theoretical value of 28.71 joules per gram, and if it's deviating more than 1% from this value, we'll post a fail message. Start by creating a new macro file and give it a suitable name. In this macro file, create a new macro and give it a name. If desired, you can add here some descriptive info about this macro. Click on OK. The macro editor is opening now and will automatically capture all calculations that you are going to perform. Start opening an indium experiment. Rescale it. Integrate it using a linear baseline. Right click on the mouse and select Auto Limits. This function is particularly useful to analyze an experiment on the same material but where the peak maximum temperature might vary a bit. The peak maximum is automatically searched for and as integration limits, you define an offset to the lower temperature and one to the higher temperature starting from this peak maximum. Select now the label that contains the integral value and copy it to the clipboard. Now under the insert menu, assign a variable to it. Let us call this variable enthalpy. We want to assign to it the value that has just been copied to the clipboard. The first value on the clipboard is the onset. So we need a second value being the melting enthalpy. This variable we now want to test. We can do that under the insert menu. If it's smaller than 28.43, we want to display a fail message. We'll create this message in a step that we will define later. If it's bigger than 28.99, we want similar. If the value is within plus minus 1%, we want to display a pass message. So let's insert an annotation pass. Now this pass part is finished, so we will insert a jump to the end of the macro. Finally, we need to define what in case of a fail. For that purpose, we create a fail annotation. Do not worry at this moment that both pass and fail messages appear both on the same plot. Setting up this annotation for the case of failing starts at step 33. We still need to redirect the earlier two jump commands to this step. By clicking on them and typing the correct step. The macro is now finished, so we should save it and can close it. Now let's try it out by executing it. First of all, on an indium sample, where we expect the enthalpy to be OK. So as you can see, the enthalpy is OK and we get a pass message. Now we'll try a second indium sample. For this indium sample, the enthalpy is not within the specifications, so we get a fail message displayed.